Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Do the Work. Here we're going to co cover question 8 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. Mia drives 100 km in 3 hours. She has 40 km left to her destination. If she travels at that same speed, how much longer will it take her to get to her destination? The first step to solving any problem is to understand the theory behind it and what the problem is asking. But before we get going, I ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can support the channel and also have access to the future videos automatically. Th thank you for doing this. So without further ado, let's get to it. We have a real life problem here where Mia drives 100 kilometers in three hours. So we kind of need to know the speed is equal to the distance formula to able to be able to solve this problem. But the good news is, is that it's fairly intuitive. So for example, Mia drives 100 kilometers in three hours. If you made a little graph of this, that would look something like this, right? After three hours, she traveled 100 kilometers and it's constant speed. So she would travel like this. And then at two, you'd be here. And at one, you'd be here. And after one hour, how many kilometers? After two hours, how many kilometers? After three hours, how many kilometers? So right there, intuitively, you know that after one hour, you did a third of 100 or 33.33 kilometer. And you got to keep in mind that the speed formula and the speed unit, let's say when you're driving your car, you know that it's in kilometers per hour. That's why it's distance over time because speed is in kilometers per hour. This is a distance kilometers and each hour is a time. So the general speed formula based on our graph as well would be, let me just change colors. It would be 100, that's the distance, divided by 3, that's hours, and then the units would make kilometers per hour. So let's move to step 2 where we actually do the work here. So the first step, I'll, I'll use a blue color for the steps. Oops. So the first step is to find her average speed. So like we said, her average speed, let's call this speed, could use S or sometimes it's V for velocity. And then that would be 100, or I'll write D over T for distance over time. And then that's 100 kilometers divided by three hours. And then that's 33.3 kilometers per hour. So in other words, every hour she travels 33 kilometers ish. So now that we have this average speed, the question is how much will it take her to get to her destination? Well, she has 40 kilometers left. And the question is how much time, right? So what we do here is we need to rearrange or I'll say solve solve for time in the V is equal to DT the over T equation. How do you solve for time? Well, what you do here is that you, for example, we have D over time. So what you can do is multiply by time on this side multiply by time on this side and then these cancel and then obviously you're going to be left with that the distance is equal to the velocity or the speed times the time so in our in our case oh sorry <laughs> did i do this wrong we were supposed to solve for the time right so that that's not good we just put it like this but we need to solve for the time. So what we're going to do is get rid of V. 
So here the V's cancel, and then we're left with T is equal to T over V. So essentially, it's like if we just switch those two. Some people like to memorize that. I personally don't, but that's up to you. So now that we have this, we can just plug everything in because we have, we were looking for the time, we have the distance left. It's 40 kilometers and we have her average speed. So the time would be D over V, which would be distance that's 40 kilometers and then divided by 33.33 kilometers per hour. So just uh, like logically, if we're estimating this, how many times does 33 fit in uh, 40 divided by 33? How many times does it fit? We know it's going to be one and a third ish. So if we just look at the answers, it's going to be probably B or C, right? So let's actually calculate it um, directly. So it would be 40 divided by 33. And I'll put like four threes. And then that's 1.2. So we know that it would be answer B. And just a, as a side sidestep, we if we kept the, um, I'll look at the units. So we have two things we can check. We can do the units, which is we have kilometers divided by kilometers per hour. How do we divide fractions? We flip and multiply, right? So we have kilometers times hours per kilometer. And then these cancel. You're left with, and this is the time that we're looking at. Time is in hours, therefore we know it's right. So that's called a unit check. And the other thing I wanted to verify with you to build intuition a bit is that we can divide the fractions directly. So we have that the time, or maybe I, I won't, I'll do something like this. Yeah, so the time is equal to 40 divided by, the speed was 100 over three. So that's the same thing as 40 times three over 100. That's 120 over 100 when you do the math and then when you divide by 100, you shift the comma two to the left because there's two zeros and then that would be 1.2. So I personally prefer this method because we're not rounding, but you do you. And just um, let's go back to a little bit logically. If we go back to our graph, after three hours, she traveled 100 and Every hour she travels 33. So 140 is somewhere here, right? And it would be at four, you'd be here at 133. So just a little bit four point something, right? It turns out to be 4.2. So we can actually graph this equation using Desmos. So by clicking the link and you can access all of this by clicking the PDF, I'll just put this down. Look what happens when we, uh, will I be able to play this perhaps? Yes, okay. Look at what happens to our trained. Well, the slope is 33.3 and it starts at zero. So this is Y equals 33.3 and that's little Thomas the train. And the question is how much time does it take for the train to, or the car in this case, to reach 140? And you can look, and that point is 4.2. All right, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.